Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed today, I'll try to replace the gasket in between the tandem pump and the head of the engine on a 2 liter PD engine, Volkswagen. It's uh, built in Audi as well, in Skoda. Uh, this particular one is a BKP code and it's from the 2007 so the main problem is that when I drive after a little bit of time I can see smoke coming from the bonnet on the sides and when I open it I can't see nothing and uh, it smells strongly like diesel there is no leak around the diesel mount, diesel lines I uh, wash the engine check for leaks everywhere and I noticed a little leak onto the gearbox and maybe when the engine is proper hot it starts to evaporate and when you drive faster you don't really notice it but when you're sitting in the traffic you can feel even on your throat that uh, it's getting bad. Uh, bad so what I'm gonna do now I'll take out the filter box housing I'll remove this clamp and I will just remove the whole thing out. Uh, Allen key, I think it's six millimeter right in there. It's actually five millimeter. So there is two rubber mounts here. Now let's get to the point. We can see a little bit of not sure where it's leaking from but it's definitely something wrong with it. What I will do, can you see gasket here? What I will do, I will start the car or I will use, no, I will use some uh, cleaner first you know, spray with some uh, with some degreaser and then with some brake clean, just so we can clean up the stuff a little bit. And then we'll see where it leaks fuel from. 
we cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> and I think the main point will be here. Let's see where the leak comes from. I think on this side is diesel and on the other side is vacuum so it should be from the gasket on the back but just to make sure. Okay so after a couple of minutes I can definitely see the leak. So let's get to uh, changing the pump. Let to stop the car as well. I unclipped this one, so now we take a few um, cotton rugs and I'll put them so if there is any fuel leaking. Uh, it will manage to not get everywhere. Okay, so that's antifreeze. It's just three bolts that are holding the pump.
Just get it on the edge and yeah, there we go, try for the best. I'm going to be able to pull the bolt out, I'm not really sure but I'll see. Is it the vacuum line or something? It is a vacuum line. Okay, let's get the... Uh, I think if we get this vacuum line out, it will be easier. So, this one is just a vacuum line, so... It should be not that hard to pull out. the surface of it. It's where it leaks from. That's oil and that's oil. I'm not sure and I don't know. I really don't know. But I need a new gasket. Let me take this one out. and buy a new one and I will also clean up this area here with a little bit of cleaner first well, what I'll take now is some um, Scotch bright and I'll just give it a quick rub. I don't want to be using sandpaper. I watched the German video and the people there said that the sandpaper is actually making the things worse. So I just use this pad. Right pad, it's like some 
almost using silicone here. You can see some silicone marks. Um, if you don't know what Scotch Bright is, it's a material that's very similar to the material that you use on your dish sponge to wash in the dishes with. Very nice. What is that thing? Oh, <laughs> let me have a look what this does. Okay, so this is some kind of emulsion tube. I'm not really sure what it does. It doesn't have a position, or at least it doesn't look like it has a position. We'll just leave it like it was. Okay. Does that look clean, maybe? Diesel is coming out, okay. Okay, so we'll have some uh, dry clean towel on top of it. Now let's let's get to the surface on on this pump. You can see here it has a little bit of we need a little bit of cleanup. Maybe it's good if we plug the, the holes otherwise. Diesel can get to the you know, just try to be careful. Where it was leaking from it was here. Plug it with. To plug it with something, otherwise, these can get to it, and I'm not sure if the filter is before or after it. So, or should we Let me just get like that? Okay, it looks clean to me. Uh, 
Okay. It's clean, yes it is. Okay, let's get a clean slot. Does it look clean? It looks clean to me. Okay, we can check how the pump moves. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. Oh, just a bit unfortunate. Now, I think this will leak coil anyway. We'll see. I got the new seal. Here, Victor Reigns, I got number 70 37512 00. Cost only around five dollars, maybe even less than that. Whoever put that label here is not the most clever man, I'll tell you that. Okay, does it have a direction? So it can be fitted this way? Or? No, it has a direction. I think we're all good. See which one is the right size for this one.
the last time it will be the trickiest to do that. Just start going. Just need a little bit of time, there we go. You don't see, but I don't see either, so. So, torque spec is 30 Newton meters. I'll try to uh, get my wrench and and get it torqued. But if I can't, I'll just do it by hand. Torque wrench is set to 30 Newton meters. Let's see. Seems very tight. That's a bit too tight for my press fence, so because that's the wrench I'm using for my tires. So Take a few. There we go. I just loosened it by 10 Newton meters. Let's see how I'm gonna tighten the one on the bottom. I definitely can. Yeah. So I just tighten it as much as I can. Take the larger ratchet. That was this thing, yeah. Let's try to make it more harder and more tighter with this wrench. It's possible, isn't it? Mm. 
No, it's just sleeping. Good. Well, oh. let's give it a quick clean. Let's see if the whole thing works. Assemble the air filter housing. I'll just um, I'll just start up the car. I'll let it run for a few times, 15 minutes, and we'll see if it works. Maybe a little thing to note when restarting is that uh, the car will stop because there is no oil, uh, there is no fuel. So I just kept turning like 10-15 seconds and uh, start it again. Now let's let it run. Okay, so it's been running for 15 minutes and uh, a couple of minutes on 3000 RPM right after it being warm up. Let's see if there is any leak. Now it's dry. Here on the side, is draws well. Around the back, let's dry. See, it draws well. Let's 
dry, that's very nice. I'm happy it's, it was on the tandem pump, pump itself. That's a very good angle actually. And that's it, that's how to replace the tandem pump gasket. In the same way you can replace the tandem pump as well, you just need a new unit or you can rebuild it if you have a rebuild kit. I hope the video has been helpful to you. Give it a like, I'm not selling everything so you can leave me a comment just to boost the algorithm a little bit. And that's it, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.